Hey y'all, welcome to Jetty Rocks, and I'm Captain Mike D. I know there's gotta be a few of you out there right now, scrolling through YouTube videos, watching fishing content, checking out some of these fishing channels, even possibly some of my fishing, fishing videos, and you're thinking to yourself, I'd like to get into fishing, but I really don't know what to do, and I don't even know if I really should do it or not. Or, you know, just thinking about it, and kinda on the fence about it. So in this video, I'm gonna give you five reasons why you should start fishing today. Like right after this video, go buy you a fishing rod today. Let's get into this. Five reasons why you should start fishing today. Number five is because it's easy, guys. It's super easy to get into fishing. And pretty much fishing is whatever you put into it, you can get out of it. You can make it as easy and as simplistic as you want, and you can make it as advanced and difficult as you want. You don't have to go, you don't have to start fishing with a seventy to eighty thousand dollar boat. I've proven that in my videos. You can have just a beat up boat that you spend just a few thousand dollars with and go out there and catch fish. You can fish from land. You don't have to fish from a boat at all. You can fish from docks on the side of the bank. You can fish from local piers. You can fish from the beach, fish from jetties. There's just so many different ways you can start fishing right now. And it's easy guys. Don't have to spend a lot of money on your fishing equipment either. You can just go tomorrow or today, right after this video, like right now, go to Walmart and go buy you a fishing rod. Spend $50, $60 or even cheaper, it just depends on what you want to spend, and you can get started today. And it doesn't matter if you just go to your local pond on a little dock and just start catching bluegill and brim, maybe some catfish, some bass. It doesn't matter. Once you get started, that ball will start rolling and you'll, you'll experience more things. You'll want to get into more things. I mean, I started just catching fish in the pond near my house, just catching bluegill. And I went from catching bluegill to catching bass to catching catfish. Then I started going catching snook, redfish, black drum, catching sharks, catching snappers and grouper offshore, catching tuna fish. It's just never ending, guys. It can be exactly what you want it to be. And it can be easy. It can be difficult. What you put into this, you can get out of this. All right, number four is the connections, y'all. You can meet so many different people fishing. Once you get into fishing, you start doing it, and you start getting a little bit of confidence, or if you're not confident, you just start talking to people, say, hey, I'm just now taking a fish, and I'm just getting into it. You will meet people that'll give you more information than you will learn from. You know, I've met a lot of people since I've started fishing, and I've some of my friendships have lasted my lifetime all because of fishing. Mark Hopper and I been friends for a very long time and we started being friends because of the joy that we had fishing together. Same thing with Justin. Justin and I have been friends for a very long time, but we enjoy fishing together. Bill Coppage and I, our whole friendship was based around fishing. We commercial fish together and you see where we are today. We both have YouTube channels. We both fish a lot and we're, you know, kind of advanced in the game a little bit. But you can just, this is all about connections, guys. And not only connections with people and with friends, you stay connected to the environment. You connect with different wildlife. I mean, through fishing, I've been encountered with sharks. I've been encountered with dolphins, you know, sea turtles, different kinds of sea turtles. And when I'm in the freshwater, encounters with alligators, snakes, turtles, wildlife such as birds, raccoons. I've even had deer come up to me, turkeys, wild hogs. You're just in the environment and you're connected. You're not stuck behind a TV playing video games or watching movies all day, not stuck in a house, not doing anything. You're out there in the world, in the environment, and you're connected to it. You, and I, my personal belief is when you're connected to the environment, you're connected to what's going on around you, you're a much happier person. Don't know why that is, but that's just my personal belief, and that's how I feel about it, and that's 
how it has been for me. The more that I'm outside in the wild around all God's creatures, I'm more connected and I feel a lot happier. All right, number three is experience, guys. The experiences you will have fishing once you start doing it is experiences you'll never have doing anything else. I have seen some of the most amazing things and have witnessed some of the most amazing things fishing that I never could have seen without it. I mean, watching my daughters catch their first fish for the very first time, absolutely amazing. When Amber and I first started dating, taking her out and seeing her catch her very first fish for the first time, amazing. And anytime they catch something new, the joy they have on their face is just breathtaking and is something that just lasts a lifetime. And not only that, you have different experiences. You get different experience levels when you're fishing. You may start off in a pond. You may start off catching bluegill, crappie, bass, whatever. And then after you do that for a little while, you decide, okay, I'm going to venture off and do some salt water. And next thing you know, you're learning more. You're learning what species to target. You're learning what baits work for what. You're learning what rigs work, work for what, what hooks to use, what line to use, what kind of rods work better for you. You just get all this experience and experiences that you wouldn't get if you didn't start fishing. And through the experience of fishing, sometimes it can open opportunities. You can start fishing just thinking it's a hobby. Next thing you know, you realize you could probably make a living doing it. You can start guiding, start taking people out and earning a living doing that or commercial fishing. I started off commercial fishing and I made a really good living doing that for a long time. For about 11 years of my life, I was a commercial fisherman. And then tournaments. You get enough confidence, you think you're good enough to enter tournaments, enter some tournaments, make some money. I did that for a long time. You know, just local tournaments, no big, big tournaments, just local tournaments around here. I would enter them and I would make some really good money. And plus, it's a lot of fun. It's a blast. Fishing tournaments is a lot of fun. So there's all kinds of doors fishing can open for you. And look at me. I'm, in, I'm a host for a YouTube channel. And I've had a lot of doors open because of that. But that wouldn't happen if I never picked up a rod and started fishing. Is for food. You can supply food for your family for cheaper than you can go out there and buy it most of the time. I mean, yeah, if you spend $80,000 on a boat, you can say that's an expense. I don't look at it that way. If I spend $10 in gas that day and I go out and catch seven or eight sheep's head and I come home and I feed my family of three people, it was cheaper than I could have taken them out to a restaurant and eaten seafood for dinner. In my opinion, just my opinion. Some people may disagree with me, but that's just my opinion. But, you know, tell you guys a story. When I was a teenager, when I'd wake up on Saturday or something, if I didn't have school for, you know, summer or anything, we used to have a blackboard. And my mom and dad would write on the blackboard what they wanted for dinner that day, what kind of fish they wanted for dinner. Some days it would be flounder. Some days they'd write sheep's head. Some days my mom would write snook or, or redfish. And I would go out that day and catch that fish to bring home and have it for dinner that night with my family. It was my mom, my dad, and my sister. So there was four of us. And I did that many, many times in my life growing up that I would supply food for my entire family. And then when I lived on my own, when I was completely just by myself, 90% of what I ate was what I caught, whether it be shrimp and crab and catching fish. I ate what I caught because, you know, trying to save money, trying to do, you know, do things. So I would spend money on things I wanted to do and go fishing. And I would always bring home something to eat. I always had fish, always had food in my freezer and my refrigerator. And now that I'm married and I have two kids, I do the same thing. We eat about three to four meals a week with something that we've caught. Either it be fish, stone crabs, shrimp. We supplied that meal to this household by what we know how to do. And that is one of the greatest feelings in the world to know that you can go out and catch your own food. You don't have to depend on a grocery store or a restaurant or someone else to supply food for you. You can go do it yourself. That's one of the best reasons in the world is to take up fishing right now. 
All right, the number one reason why you should start taking up fishing today, like right after this video is over, you need to go to Walmart or to a pawn shop or anywhere and buy your fishing rod is because it's fun. It is a lot of fun. It can be frustrating at times, I'm not gonna lie to you. You start fishing, you'll get frustrated, but even in that, it's a lot of fun. When you start looking back and you know, months later, look back at some of the things you're frustrated about, you'll know, just have some good memories and you'll laugh you're like, oh, that was funny. It's just a lot of fun, guys. I mean, me personally, that's one of the most funnest things I've done in my life is fishing. Some of my best times in my life, been fishing with my buddies or fishing with my family, and we've made memories that just last a lifetime. I don't think anybody will disagree that fishing is probably one of the most fun things you can do that there is. And it's really not that expensive. It all depends on what you want to put into it as far as money-wise. I can literally, right now, go buy a rod from Walmart, spend $30, $40, go to a pond, buy a little thing of night crawlers, and just have a ball. Just have a very good time just hanging out. Or meet up with a buddy, a little cane pole, a little jig, go out there on the lake and just catch a bunch of crappie. Don't cost hardly nothing. Don't cost hardly nothing at all. And you can just wake up, say I'm going fishing, and you're gone. It's that simple, guys. It really is. You don't have to make it difficult. You can make it as simple as you want, and it can be fun. Now, don't get me wrong. Doing some of the most advanced stuff like deep dropping or fishing for swordfish or going out there trolling for mahi-mahi and sailfish and marlin. That stuff is a lot of fun. There's a little bit more to that. It can be a little bit more expensive and a little bit more stress involved. It's a little more advanced, but it's still a blast. It is still a very good time. So guys, do that. Go out and get something. Get something started. Talk to some people that you know that are already fishing. Meet up with some people and go do it. Just go do it. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this video. Let's count down the five reasons you should start fishing today. I hope you learned something out of it. I hope you guys got a little bit of insight. You know, hope it maybe makes a decision for you. If you are thinking about going fishing, if you haven't done it yet, you're not sure if you want to get into fishing, you know, I ain't got the money to do it. I ain't, don't do this. I don't know how to do this. Hopefully this video helps you out a little bit. Because literally, guys, seriously, you can get out of fishing exactly what you put into it, 100%. I mean, you do not have to have expensive equipment and expensive boat and years and years of knowledge to go out there and have a good time. You don't. You can just go pick up a rod, go to a local lake, use some bread balls if you need to, use some little artificial baits, use some worms, and just start fishing and have a good time. Have a very good time and start building some memories that you didn't have before. It's super easy, guys. Don't let fishing or, you know, you see on YouTube, people with big boats, expensive boats, all this expensive equipment. Don't let that deter you from fishing because you don't need all that stuff. All that stuff's fine and dandy. If you got it, do it. Flaunt it. Have at it. But you don't have to to get started. You can start with the most simplistic stuff that you can. I have seen people literally go out there with string tied on it soda can or a beer can and go out there at the new Smyrna jetties and catch fish i kid you not i've seen it many many times and they're having a ball they're supplying food for their families they're building memories with their friends and their families it's just amazing there's nothing in the world like fishing and nothing like a fishing community there just really isn't it's a one-of-a-kind thing and i think it's a very special thing and a very meaningful thing and it's just awesome y'all Hope you all enjoyed the video. Till I see you all again, Ty Lions, Jody Rockers. I'll catch you on the next one.